It goes down as one of the most deadly campaigns of World War II, yet it remains one of the least told tales. 80 years ago today, Nazi Germany launched Operation Drumbeat, the devastating U-boat attack in the mid-Atlantic right here off the shores of Virginia and North Carolina. Here's Mike Gooding. It was January 13, 1942, the dawn of Nazi Germany's campaign codenamed Operation Drumbeat to defeat America on its own shores. Eventually, what would be up to 50 of Hitler's U-boats or submarines sank nearly 500 Allied freighters and tankers along the U.S. Atlantic coast, killing around 5,000 merchant seamen and U.S. Navy sailors. It set the stage for a slaughter. Author Ed Offley, in a new article for U.S. Naval Institute's Naval History magazine, writes that it was a disastrous week for the Navy. We just don't know what the specific why of how this disaster was allowed to unfold. But we do know it unfolded. Offley writes that the U.S. Navy had enough warships at hand to thwart the German offensive, but instead chose to do nothing, and a bloodbath ensued. And we would not have stopped every one of them, but we sure would have stopped some of them. And it would have probably forced the Germans to, to shift their tactics. Offley says even now, eight decades later, there's an important lesson to be learned. Uh, don't ignore specific accurate intelligence. Uh, they had the warning and they did nothing. And almost 5,000 sailors died, 500 ships sunk. Um, they, they couldn't have driven it to zero, but they probably could have cut it in half. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. And if you want to learn more about Operation Drumbeat, we have a link to Ed Offley's full article. Look for it in this story at 13newsnow.com.